All right, today we'll learn about Azure Log Analytics workspace. We'll be configuring multiple workspace from the portal. Then querying, we can also cross query from another Log Analytics workspace. So we'll look everything and also we'll be like, uh, can see the dashboard as well. So let's uh, begin with the hands-on. I've already signed into the Azure portal. Please don't worry, we'll be creating the entire architecture which you have seen just now. This is from the scratch. Like if you're just a complete beginner, please do not panic. I'll be doing everything from the scratch for you. So let's search here in the search bar, log analytics workspace. So uh, when we search, this this is the result. We don't want to go here the marketplace. Please note, let's select uh, log analytics workspace. Now, as per the architecture diagram, if we look, we need to create first log analytics workspace. There are basically two log analytics workspace we'll create. First, we'll name it Cloud Guru Amit Workspace A and another will be Workspace B. So I have already done uh, some homework with the uh, names and all and formed uh, these queries, which will be running in a short while after our log analytics workspace is ready. So let's click on the uh, create button as usual to create one log analytics workspace from the scratch. We need to select a resource group where our log analytics uh, workspace will reside. Then name it. We'll first name it uh, workspace uh, A. It should be unique first of all. Uh, we cannot create multiple workspace with the same name in, an, in the same resource group, right? So let's um, review and uh, create. This is a fairly simple step. Once the validation is done, we can uh, click on uh, create. So the deployment has almost started. Let's duplicate uh, this tab uh, because the same process uh, will repeat for another uh, Azure Log Analytics workspace. So let's repeat the process. We'll select uh, the same, let's give it a name, but this time just note, uh, we have given the name as B. Previous one was A, review and create. Our validation is passed, let's click on create. So our uh, resource Log Analytics B is getting ready so our log analytics workspace a is uh, now ready let's go to the resource group we can see uh, the name here cloud guru amit workspace a right so next under the monitoring tab we'll find the diagnostic setting please note this is very important step because merely just by creating one log analytics workspace won't do much help and won't collect uh, the logs from let's say the azure monitor or so we need to uh, diag like set up the diagnostic setting so that the uh, logs are connect, uh, like collected to a destination. So we'll uh, look at, uh, click on here, add diagnostic settings. Now uh, here lies the important step. Uh, let's, uh, we can name it anything, Cloud Guru Amit, hyphen, diag, diag also we can write. It looks good. Uh, let's copy this one. I have copied this one because I'll name the diagnostic setting for other log analytic uh, workspace as the same as well. We can name the uh, diagnostic setting name as same uh, doesn't uh, matter so let's copy this and now uh, here lies the important step what categories uh, or groups we need i'm selecting audit and all logs then uh, the matrix i've selected all matrix here uh, we have the destinations uh, we we can send it to like as log analytics workspace uh, also storage account event hub um, there are four uh, like basically destinations here for this tutorial, we are dealing with log analytics workspace. So we need to just check on uh, check mark this one. Um, next, uh, it will ask for subscription and the log analytics workspace. Uh, please note that uh, since this is a log analytics workspace A, so we need to uh, select the exact log analytics uh, workspace, right? Uh, another one which we have created was B, right? So let's select uh, the A since we are dealing with log analytics workspace A. Now let's uh, click on um, the uh, save button. The same uh, will be doing uh, uh, its mentioned update, updating diagnostic successfully uh, done. The C button is grayed out. That means we are good for now for the first uh, log analytics workspace. If you look at the architecture diagram, we are all set for workspace A now. But for workspace B, we haven't set up the diagnostic setting. Let's go back. Let's go to the resource since our deployment just got succeeded. Next, uh, we'll re uh, like repeat the same process. Diagnostic setting, then add diagnostic setting. Let's give it the same name, Cloud Guru Amit Diag. We can give it the same name, all logs, all matrix uh, sent to uh, like a, a log analytics workspace. Now this time, just note, I'm selecting the other log analytics workspace. So this we need to check. Then click on the save button when we are done. So it takes a while. 
so our uh, settings are almost uh, done so let's uh, get back to uh, like uh, the first one we'll go back here maybe log analytics uh, workspace also we can type go that is uh, also one of the good practice so we have to log analytics workspace all set up as per the architecture diagram if you look here uh, both are uh, like Cloud Guru Amit Workspace A, Cloud Guru Amit Workspace B. These are two log analytics workspace. We are set up. Now our next step is to query and uh, check the dashboards, um, right? So let's open uh, one of the uh, log analytics workspace here. So here we have a couple of things. Mainly if we want to query, it will be available under the log section. When we click, since uh, this is the very first time we have uh, created uh, the log analytics workspace, so it will present you one video and uh, this is like the basics of um, log analytics. You can have a watch uh, this video. Uh, for this timing, let's close it because I'm already aware of it. And here also query hub, it presents, but uh, it's not much important to us because we don't have anything here because it's just uh, recently set up. Let's close this thing. Now our important task is to search for table uh, here. Uh, we need to expand under uh, tables here we'll find log management so we have one uh, table already uh, uh, present with us in this one fault one so let's copy paste these things it will uh, let's hide this let's run it so basically it hasn't got any uh, results since uh, 24 hours same uh, let's open for the log analytics b uh, maybe and check let's open for b we'll be opening both these things parallelly we need to give some time right because we haven't fired any uh, big queries uh, now so for log analytics workspace a let's fire one query which will this is a union query it takes a while combining like it will combine the audit logs uh, for different workspaces that is cloud guru amit workspace a and also b so just note this thing um querying from log analytics uh, workspace like this one is a if you look here uh, this one cloud guru amit workspace a now let's uh, run this query if you look at the um, syntax for this query i have mentioned workspace as b right so we are running definitely the cross querying from the log of workspace a we are we are trying to query b and we are getting the union of it let's try to run it um, it, it will take a while i'm purposely doing it because it will help us uh, in our next step as well so we got some uh, results here same process let's uh, do it for uh, maybe for uh, the log analytics workspace uh, b as well so we are at b now we'll do the reverse thing we'll write here a so let's uh, run this query it will take a while um you can form complex query as well uh, as per your requirement so we uh, this uh, query is done now now comes in uh, in uh, like interesting part so let's now identify which queries took longer than a certain duration let's say five seconds or so let's copy paste this thing let's open this we can open in a new tab by uh, clicking on the plus let's paste this uh, let's um, reduce it uh, duration maybe like three seconds this is in milliseconds right so three three seconds in a nutshell let's uh, run this query so here we got the results here if we uh, expand this thing you'll uh, note response duration is something 3956 which is greater than 3000 definitely so that's why uh, we got the results uh, we got a chat as well all right here we'll uh, populate we'll get one chat same thing let's fire it up in uh, log analytics like workspace b i'm purposely doing uh, trying to build some queries because over the time we'll see more of the logs are uh, getting generated here and so same uh, we can see uh, this time it took a little while for uh, workspace b something response time eight uh, nine eight zero seven something something so it took uh, a while so it's since it satisfied this criteria we are getting this result now one more important thing to check is that uh, we can change our timing as well if you are unfamiliar about the time this looks this will be looking some something uh, different then please make sure to select the local time see it's now one nine if you check uh, something our um, calendar or time it's uh, 115 so this is uh, like uh, you can change the local time as well now let's go back to another query this will retrieve query execution details let's um, copy these things let's paste maybe in the same tab it's fine it will work more or less the same let's run it so again like uh, we got uh, the uh, uh, result sets and all uh, for the for these things this this looks good so 
uh, for this tutorial uh, just note uh, like uh, we can uh, like fire let's say let's fire multiple times we can also fire like a union command and all right this these are taking uh, times so over the time if we run the query we'll be uh, seeing uh, the uh, charts see now this many results are getting generated so since we have built this query from the scratch it will take some time for the queries uh, for the logs to get generated we'll have the charts here see we have we are having the charts if let me select to the local time see we are running the queries response code 200 that is success all our success right so this this is how like we can um, query log analytics workspace for um, um, different um, uh, we can combine multiple workspace as well and query them together to get a dashboard and um, check the results so i hope you got this tutorial uh, found this tutorial helpful thank you so much for watching this video